Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 4. And in the last episode, we did a whole bunch of errands for Pyotr. We put the Risalka to rest. We finished doing uh, Baba Yaga's errands. And we killed a whole bunch of wraiths. And we also basically restored faith in Dimitri and heroes. So we're going to go ahead and say goodbye. Farewell. Thank you again. Now we've got one other thing to do in town. Well, we've got a few Thanks things. Thanks for returning Pyotr's sword. My family's honor shall at last be cleansed. Yep, the speed went down. Buggy, buggy game. Alright. That's taken care of. Let's go this way. Pay the innkeeper for your room and board. Thank you for your payment. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to go up here. Knock on the door. A voice from behind the door says, Whoops, sorry. Seems I forgot about my burglar alarm. Hope it wasn't too shocking for you. Did I tell you about the time there was this guy walking into an inn with this big necrotor following him? He goes up to the innkeeper and asks for some stew to eat. The innkeeper looks nervously at the necrotor and asks the man what his pet will eat. And the guy replies, anyone he wants. <laughs> Not bad, eh? To hand the gnome the good humor bar. What's this? You trying the old hot pepper bar on me? Hey, I'm the professional, kid. Don't try this at home. Not on a gnome, anyway. Hey, it looks good, though. He eats the good humor bar. Not bad. Pretty good, actually. Hey, I feel funny. I mean, really funny. What was that thing? You tell the gnome about Baba Yaga and the good humor bar. Thanks, pal. Guess this yuck's on me. This jester just can't thank you too much. You're my hero, Nero. My main man, Stan. Let's tell about... Let's first greet him. I've seen heroes come and go, and you're certainly one of them. Let's tell about Baba Yaga. So you got by with a pie, aye? My, my. Always knew the way to Baba's heart was through her stomach. Probably someone she ate. You know what they say about cannibals? Always having a few friends over for dinner. <laughs> Alright. So let's ask out the gnome. I am so happy that it reminds me of the time Dimlit the Dwarf came across a magic ring in the bazaar in Shapir. He rubbed it, and lo and behold, out comes a genie. I will grant you three wishes, said the genie. Well, for my first wish, I want a place that's always filled with gold, says Dimlit. So shall it be done, said the genie. There before Dimlin appeared a purse. He turned it over, and a pile of gold spilled out on the desert sand. Again and again he turned it over, and more and more gold covered the ground. Master, you do have two more wishes left, said the genie. Oh, that's right, said the dwarf. Well, give me two more of these. Let me tell you, I'm every bit as happy as Dimlin was. <laughs> All right. Well, what about your humor, since it's back? You know what they say about humor? If you don't got it, you won't get it. And if you don't get it, I'm sure someone will try to explain it at great length. Okay. Have you heard any rumors? A flying rumor never has any trouble making a landing. I heard that the shopkeeper's husband left her because she was such a scold. She was a person who was quick on the floor. When she wanted his opinion, she gave it to him. Oh, man. Ow. Okay, what about any jokes? Do you know why gnome jokes are so short? So that they won't go over the dwarves' heads! There's no point in telling a dwarf a joke with a double meaning. He won't get either one! Are you... Judging from the expression, what you don't know can't hurt you, dwarves are practically invulnerable. Of course, far be it for me to say that all dwarves are just plain dumb. Most are pretty greedy, too. Are you a racist? Dwarves get their money the hoard way. They won't even spend the time of day. Dwarves don't care how people treat them, as long as they do. Of 
course you know what you're a racist aren't you fell into the dwarf mine a flat miner and on that note let's change the subject okay well what are your plans well now that I'm back in the funny business it's one more show and I'm back on the road I'm gonna show these yokels that he who laughs last just didn't get it all right well say goodbye some people spread happiness wherever they go others whenever they go fortunately you are the former if you was the latter you'd probably have a few rungs missing well he's supposed to give us something before you blow Joe I figure I owe you one I'm gonna let you in on a secret only we gnomes know I'm gonna tell you the ultimate joke don't wince, Vince. This is straight, mate. You tell this one, and whoever hears it is gonna laugh. Really laugh. Can't help it. Can't stop it kind of laugh. Only works once, and should only be used in last resorts, Mort. It's the last laugh, so to speak. The best jest to the West. Yours for the telling. The gnome tells you a rather silly joke. You find yourself laughing despite yourself. See what I mean, Gene? Tell this joke to a big bad dude that's out to do you in, then exit while he's laughing. Use it or lose it. Bye bye, Birdie! I think that gnome is a racist against dwarves. There was also some parallels in there that were kind of unsavory. I don't remember those jokes. Those were, um. Those were kind of bad. In not the funny bad way, and not even in the pun way. Everyone else's jokes are better than his. He's just kind of a crappy person, isn't he? That caught me by surprise. It's a garlic souffle, Mordavian style. Oh goody. Alright. Well, that just means we're done here. What time is it? Let's go get our potions. Okay, we're good. We don't need to friggin' do stupid ring the bell puzzles anymore. Aha! Uh -huh. Eureka! I have it! Uh, just practicing for my next incredible discovery, you understand. <laughs> Let's talk about Samaria. You tell Dr. Cranium that you would like to visit Silmaria someday, but fear you are trapped forever in Mordavia. Ha ha ha! Silmaria, a lovely place by the sea. You must be sure to visit the Academy of Science there when you visit. I am sure you will have the opportunity someday. No, this is the last game in the series. <laughs> Alright. Let's talk about science again. You really should take the time to learn some of the basic principles of science. Here you are. Here you are. And we're done. Bye. Should you ever visit Silmaria, I should be most pleased to give you a recommendation into the Academy of Science there. Science needs more adherence with your energy. I'm sure. <laughs> but not if they're all uh, corpse crazy like you are. Okay. You pick up two of the metal weights and put one in each of the baskets. Your legs are too stiff and... Now let's look at our stats. Should all be good. Our honor went back up. Everything's good. We have my a paladin ability again. Let's rest for a short time and get out of here. We still got a few things that we need to do, like the thing with the will-o'-wisp. That was 
That was my bad. Of course, I didn't know that they would die if uh, left out in the sunlight. I mean, I guess it makes sense, though. I suppose you heard that the gypsy didn't kill Igor after all. Dmitri has set the gypsy free. No good will come of it. You mark my words. The man was clearly a werewolf. Oh, Olga. Don't be crazy. Anyway, would you, uh, like some treasure? That didn't do anything. Okay, never mind. Let's tell her about our adventures. Tell Olga about what you've been doing in Mordavia. And be sure and... Okay, buy equipment. We're gonna need some candy. Like I said, money is never gonna be a problem in this game. Buy some more rations, just in case. Let's see, how many do we have? Nineteen. Alright, so we should all be good now. Why? Oh, that's the acrobatic skill? I thought the acrobatic skill was automatic. Okay, then. After some rest, you... Yeah, good night and Alright. So we're just gonna wait the day through. Cause we need to see the gnome's last performance. Although after that thing with the whole dwarves, I kinda have a mindset to just skip the the gnome's performance. That was uh it was rather unpleasant. <laughs> In fact, After. yeah, I After. I don't feel like patronizing that gnome's performance would be good. After some... Yep. After some rip. Still not quite nighttime yet. After there we go. Now it's nighttime. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go get those will o wisp again, and then we're going to do what I should have done, I guess. But I, I didn't think it could be done. At least not this early. Or I at least thought that I could do it later. You need the Will-O-Wisp in order to find the, one of the other rituals. Because, again, they're the child souls. Alright. One more over and then down. I do just feel awful about it, though. <laughs> I feel real guilty about that. <laughs> I lost my paladin ability for a short time. Oh, look, some batters. And now I got poisoned. Poison. The only effect is a tingling sensation. Okay, now that's Baba Yaga. Guess I went too far. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, no. That's where we killed the big bad wraith. There's something strange about the. Oh. More bats. There's something. It's weird how that is. That drains my stamina so fast. Okay, if I did this correctly, this should take me to the swamp now. Yes. Okay. So, let's do this again, and this time let's not kill them. I still feel really bad Carefully about that. Place some of the candy on the ground. Okay. You capture a few of the will-o'-wisps in a flask. Yep. No, I can't remember. We're supposed to use it on the sign of a squid. I believe it's that one. When you bring the willow wisp near the standing stone, glowing runes appear around a six pointed image. In the center of the runes, you can now see a small hole in the stone. Alright, let's go ahead and check it. It feels strangely squishy and almost alive. You feel unclean after touching the sign. It feel it feel an image of the sun. Okay. Then let's When you touch the dark one sign to its image on the squid stone, the sign locks into place in the small hole. The points of the sign seem to point to six of the glowing runes. Ah, if you remember, there was a thing in the monastery and this is that puzzle a v o o a bull a woozle as you complete the name of the dark one you feel a distant rumble under the earth, as of the earth shifting, or some unimaginably huge creature stirring in its sleep. Part of the squid stone opens to reveal a small compartment. You reach in to find a scroll covered with mysterious runes. The symbol of the senses at the top is the only part that you can make out. You also retrieve the dark one sign which pulls loose from the stone with a slurping, sucking sensation. The hole in the stone closes as you remove the sign. All right, then. Well, okay, are the Will-O-Wisp? No, they're not free. The Will-O-Wisp. I want to set them free. You release the willow wisps back into the swamp. Okay, good. <laughs> I was very honestly worried about that just a bit. So let's go ahead and save, just in case. The next thing that we have to do, however, is go into the swamp. So I'm going to take a moment to rest. After some rest, you feel better. And then... We got a special spell for this, from Dr. Cranium, in fact. It's the glide spell. As you start to glide, 
You realize the only way to get back onto the dry areas will be to grab hold of something and pull yourself up. Oh. The, I walked right into a hand and it grabbed me. That was my bad. <laughs> you are so exhausted. Wow, that just drained my stamina. Let's try that again. Alright. Actually, this is a dangerous part of the game because there's a glitch here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save on this spot right here once more. And I'm gonna make a quick change to DOSBox because that's what this game is running off of. Okay, that should do it. Now let's do this again. It bugged out again. You sense oh, terrible no. danger here. There is a great evil about this place. That's good. It didn't bug out. Stop it. I don't have the stamina to jump. It's gonna have to fight this one right here too. should both be gone. So, now we can look right here. The standing stone looks like a crude, oversized tombstone. It was an inset, six-pointed star figure, similar to the one on the monastery door. The points are slightly curved, like the arms of a starfish. Arcane symbols label each point of the star. Alright, so I believe... Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. That feels good. Just what you need. And then, put the symbol there. The Dark One sign clicks into the depression in the stone. You find that you can now turn the sign like a dial. Okay, let's see. Finally, you feel the Dark One sign settle. You pull on it, opening the tomb, and retrieve a damp but readable scroll from its depths. It is the Dark One's 
bone ritual. You retrieve the Dark One sign from the monolith. And there, we should be good actually. So, let's get out of here. We should be good. Oh, all done dry land. I'm gonna go ahead and save anyway, just in case a nasty hand grabs me. Let's do that again. And there we go. And we made it out nice and safe. Uh, I was actually really, really worried about that because that that area of the game is literally the buggiest part of the game. There's an infamous bug in that zone, and I was holding my breath like, oh god, please don't let it hit. In fact, now that it's passed, I can put the game back up to normal speed. You might not have noticed, but the game was running slower, and I made it intentionally do that on purpose. There's a difference about this game in that if I am out of stamina, I'm not punished for it. Oh, this is going to take me to the lake. Okay, here we go. Now, I should be out of here. Here's hoping I don't lose my healing spell again by sleeping in town. I'm actually kind of concerned about that. <laughs> However, something else may happen, so I'm going to save again, just to be safe. Remember kids, Sierra games. Save early, save often. Alright, cool. We're good. You are so exhausted. I know I'm exhausted. Beautiful out of So now we are going to go to sleep. You float gently in this ocean of harmony. You remember the happiness of being here before this. Now there is greater joy. You are not alone. You are filled with the warmth of friendship. You share your hopes, your dreams, all the best moments of your life, knowing that here is someone who understands and cares about you. You reach out to touch your friend, but there is no one there. You are all alone. You gradually wake taking off the shreds of dreams that cling to your memory. And there we go. We are nearly done. We've got most of the rituals. And at this point, there should be very little left for us to do. We've got five of six. And now we know who has the sixth one if you've been paying attention. But we still got someone to save. Man, that is a lot of money. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and call this episode uh, complete, because we are nearing our time limit, guys. But there's not much left. We are nearly done. And soon we will be saving Mordova from Mordovia from the Dark One. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one as well. Take care. Bye-bye for now.